Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the football mania and I just don't know where to start. I am in utter astonishment. I am shell shocked and at the moment I don't have words to express how I feel when it comes to Arsenal Football Club. Yes, my friends, yet another Friday night fixture and this team has crumbled under pressure. They have bottled a potentially title deciding match in terms of the Premier League title race. They were facing Southampton on the back of two consecutive draws against Liverpool and West Ham and they managed a 3-3 draw. No disrespect to Southampton, but Southampton are the 20th placed team in the Premier League table. And if you are drawing against Southampton at the Emirates Stadium, it is an absolute disaster. And you know, there is nothing to hide my friends because Mikel Arteta has got it absolutely wrong when it comes to game management. And you know, we are expecting Arsenal to bounce back in this match. We are expecting all the players to be galvanized by the fact that they are playing first in the weekend fixtures and especially because they drew their previous two matches and I expected a really strong start for the Gunners. However, after 30 seconds, Southampton take a lead after Ramsdale's horror show at the back. I don't know to whom he's passing the ball and he's just, you know, you know, scapegoating there. He has nothing to hide. It was a really bad mistake to start the match for the Gunners. 1-0 to Southampton and after that, it was all about a deja vu feeling. And I expected Arsenal to react strong. Yes, there were chances in the first half. I was really surprised by the inclusion of Fabio Vieira, to be honest, in the midfield when you have a player like Jorginho, whom you signed in the January transfer window. Well, you know, as the saying goes, Arsenal always bottle it under pressure and yet again, it was just a matter of time before Arsenal were about to crumble. And within 15 minutes, it became 2-0. And guess who scored for Southampton? It was former Arsenal player Theo Walcott who came to the Emirates to put a sting in the tail, to put the final nail in the coffin for Arsenal's Premier League title charge. And it was a 2-0 after 15 minutes. I did expect Arsenal still to bounce back. After that, Zinchenko is trying to rally up his teammates and get the crowd going behind the team. However, you know, I felt that there was no directness from Arsenal's play throughout the match. Yes, they came out, came back into the match courtesy Gabriel Martinelli. It was a very well taken finish in the 20th minute. And after that also, it was just sideways backwards. Yes, they were penetrating. But, you know, when you know that you are in a title charge, when you know that the chips are down, when you need to change something, why don't you even change it before half time? Why wait till half time for things to happen? And yes, Arsenal did create chances. There were some potential penalty shouts as well. However, Southampton stuck to their game plan. They did not allow Arsenal to even have a sniff inside the penalty box. Yes, there were you know too many overloads, especially on the left hand side where Gabriel Martinelli was having a ball day against Kyle Walker-Peters, the former Tottenham right-back. And I did expect Arsenal to have a reaction, especially when you are playing at the Emirates. It has been a completely different atmosphere for the home team. Yes, it was 2-1 going into the break. Southampton were leading at half-time and I still expected some changes before the start of the second half. And well, Mikel Arteta, as he usually does, he does not be proactive. He is always reactive. And that was the downfall for Arteta. He has no game management. When the chips are down, you need to make a change. Why not gamble by bringing on Leandro Trossard at the start of the second half and, you know, bring out Fabio Vieira? Well, this was the straightforward swap which I would have made keeping my eyes closed. However, Mikel Arteta and his, you know, crazy brain, I don't know how it works. He always feels that this team can, you know, 
go full throttle towards the last 15 20 minutes and he believes that every time the special atmosphere created by the fans will bring that energy into the arsenal players and it will be an astonishing comeback well every day is not the same and every time you cannot expect arsenal to come back in the last five minutes of stoppage time please Mikel arteta if you have that notion please stop it right away because once again arsenal have blown away something which was in their own hands and yes they did come back into the game it was 3-1 for southampton after that only in the 88th minute martin odegaard the captain you know curled a shot past bazuni made it 3-2 and at stoppage time bukayo saka equalized for the gunners there was still time for leandro trossard unfortunately he hit the crossbar and there were a couple of shouts for for penalty as well it went to var but it was not you know checked properly or you know it didn't seem to be a foul inside the penalty box however this is a bitter blow for arsenal in terms of their title charge because i did expect this team to bounce back in this match it would have been a cruise control routine victory for the gunners however they made it difficult for themselves by first of all going behind in the match and after that you know trying to make an inspirational comeback it never works like that and in football the most important thing is to kill games when they are there for the taking and arsenal did not manage that and guess what now they are on 75 points having played two games extra yes manchester city has those two games in hand and i firmly feel that Arsenal have blown away the title because you know on the back of the two previous performances against Liverpool and West Ham being 2-0 up at Anfield and then conceding those goals being 2-0 up after the first 10 minutes at the London Stadium in West Ham you give up the match you are not able to manage the game well something has to be done at the moment and I feel that the players need to take responsibility they need to understand the gravity of the situation and Mikel Arteta needs to get it right. And at the moment, all Arsenal fans are dejected. I know that. I empathize with you being an Arsenal fan myself. But I just feel that, you know, somewhere down the line, there is going to be yet another twist in this title race. Do I see Manchester City dropping points at the moment? No. And which is Arsenal's next fixture? They are going to play at the Etihad against Manchester City, which is going to be the biggest match for Arsenal in this Premier League season. They have not won at the Etihad since 2015. And to put matters into perspective, they need nothing but a win. All three points for Arsenal would, you know, have them putting one hand on the Premier League trophy. So, you know, there is nothing but only winning. It's a must-win match for the Gunners. And at the Etihad, Manchester City are a completely different kettle of fish. We can expect Manchester City to dominate position. And it would be a really end-to-end -end match in my opinion. But at the moment, as things stand, Manchester City are the favourites to win the Premier League title. And successfully complete the treble at, by the end of the season so guys i'm really disappointed i have no words whatsoever in order to describe what happened last night at the emirates it was quite a frantic finish towards the end a point for arsenal but yet again they have dropped two points in the last three matches they have dropped six points and it is a real disaster for arsenal in terms of their title charge so guys I would love to know what are your thoughts about this match. What could have Arsenal done better in terms of controlling the game? And do you see Arsenal still the favourite for the Premier League title? Let me know in the comments section. And if you like this video, please do me a favour. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Because I'll be coming up with lots of content from the world of football. So until next time, stay safe and take care.